anywhere. Anywhere you go, you can take it, use it, where there's no power. Camping sites on the side of the road, breakdown, you name it. Uh, basically contains, uh, it's got an outside briefcase, uh, portable carry wheel, so you can portably take it, carry it to where you want to go to, in between transit. Uh, it's it's uh, inside, it's got your solar, solar recharge panels, inside all of the mechanisms that make it into the power source from AC to DC. What can you put DC. on at any one time? What, I mean, what load will it take up to you and how do you, how do you actually run it? Um, how, this, does, how does it work? Oh, uh, this device, we, we're rating this device 600 watt and then depending on the size of the box we can go up 2,000 to 5,000 or more depending on the size of the inverter. And now, what, what, how many appliances can you run off this small one right now? This one, how, do you, how do you find out what size appliances? Uh, we check the back of the appliance, we check the wattage and most of these devices are under 500 watt so it's only that initial startup, and then we can run three, four, five. A light, a fan, a, a drill, a TV, all these, a sander. So, and not always going to have to do all those at once, but it's just to show you what we can actually, uh, actually drive from this, this okay. device. Okay, so how do we uh, operate the device, mate? Mm. Mm. Um, operation. Again, when you, when there's no sunlight, we can, uh, while we're out, when there is sunlight, we have it open, so we're getting recharged normally from, our, from the sun. Um, we've got our power points for output. Our input is for our backup charging. We've got another DC input for um, 12 volt, a battery from the, from the car charger. Uh, so we've got two outlets on this device, but you can transfer your outlet power here and then go into your, your actual pack, whether it be a six, an eight, a four, so you've got multiple... Can you show us something running on that? Yeah, sure. I'm just about to do a little job here, just to turn on the device. Yeah. Um, what I'm doing here is just um, uh, we've just got a battery. Or, um, one of the holes isn't uh, uh, big enough for the screw, so I could drill it. But in this case, I'm just going to use the drill to screw the screw through the terminal post. Okay, we're going to get a fan going. A little bit of light. Now, it's a 550 watt Makita drill. And that's 550 watts, and it's only a 600 watt machine. You've got the fan and the light going at the same time. So, obviously, it's producing more than 500 watts, 600 watts, isn't it? Yes. They might only want to get it. Right. Add them all up. Uh, we got 135 watts, uh, 557, 8, I'm not sure that there is one. light, whatever watts, 50 watt light, 460 watt light. So yeah, so we can, uh, uh, we got two ways of reach, three, three ways of, of recharging the device. Um, we've got our mains power, and then we've got our solar, and then we've got our DC input. So it's mainly when we've got mains power, uh, we can plug the device in the AC input. Turn on the charger. 
take off the inverter, put on charge, and away we go. So all they have to be careful of is they add up their appliances, correct? Yeah. Add up, yeah. Well, the main thing is it's for this size inverter, it's make use the devices that can handle up to the wattage that we this inverter can handle. So your television set, if you put that on. Yeah, this television. You can put that on as well. Mm -hmm. And your mobile phone, more than enough on a camping trip or somewhere. Run your portable fridge. Can you put the fan, put the TV on as well, please, Dave? Yeah, as well, you know, being a firefighter, it's a device that's going to be very safe for any situation where you can use power tools and not have to use a generator, which is creating carbon monoxide fumes. But are you talking about this generator or a petrol generator? Uh, this one isn't going to create. What are you using on your trucks? Uh, on our appliances, uh, we're using petrol driven generators. And the fire, so, and, gen the fire and petrol driven, when you show up to a fire, you've got to start a petrol generator in the middle of the fire, correct? Right. To run electricity? Yeah. So the whole atmosphere is, is not, uh, it's a suspect, suspect atmosphere for ourselves and whoever we're rescuing. Suspect or dangerous? Both, suspect and dangerous. How dangerous? Um, well, we've got the devices that uh, detect that the gases are not um, sustainable to be um, in the vicinity. So we are probably not putting ourselves in a good situation. So anyway, that the, this device will overcome that uh, and that's why I recommend this as a firefighter. It's uh, it's not it's not going to be able, you're not going to be able to electrocute yourself. There's no carbon monoxide fumes. Uh, you can run all your devices. Um, can you run a TV? One, a TV? Let's give it a go. Well, I believe we can. Not even believe. I reckon we can. So here we go. It's a pretty big TV. Good size TV. Uh, bigger than what you'd take camping or on. on the road. Um, another another area for this device is you'd never have to use uh, pay for powered camping sites again. I think you pressed the wrong button there again. There it's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So works. Miracle. Camping sites. Uh, Minimum 50 bucks a night now, so this is going to let anyone not just go to a normal site, pay half, if not less than that. What pay in? Well, yeah, you don't have to, just in a safe uh, road right right side. Pull up the side of the road, yeah. couldn't you watch the television and yeah. run your computers? And all your Does it right. work with that light on as well at the same time? So if my wife read a book while I'm watching TV? Or you have so now we've got a light, a TV, to get a fan going. All at the same time. Wow. Now you've got something. Yeah. You got room to plug in that little uh, yellow uh, sander at the same time? So you can work on while you're watching TV, reading yeah. the paper, you can work yeah, on that little sander boat back? Yes, we can do that too. I forget. You're going to have to you got any more room on that? Yeah, yeah, mate. We'll get our uh, sand going. So what have you got working now at the same time? we got a fan, we've got the light, we've got the TV, we've got an orbital sand on. And uh, so do you, uh, uh, we could put another, probably another device on the box? Yeah, a drill, we could put a drill, we could put a... What about the battery charger? Battery charger, we could... Can you plug that all and, off? And how long can we expect it to last? Sorry? How long can we expect it to last for you, the power generator? Uh, all these devices, minimum five hours. Plug that in, I've got a flat tyre at the same time. 
uh, while you've got everything else going, just put that into there in your 12 volt socket and see if she'll pump your tyres up. Show us what you're doing, mate. Good way to hear from it. Yeah. I think I've got my tail back. That's incredible! Wow. Absolutely incredible. Thanks so much, Dave. 27 years in the fire department. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Never. I love it.